Hello everybody, this is Kiyoshi here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be reviewing the Kinder Joy, the Avatar Surprise Eggs. So without further ado, let's get started. Pretty excited. I got these from uh, my local 7-Eleven. They carry these surprise eggs, but I'm, I'm sure you can buy it from other like retailer stores or wholesale stores or even online. Um, I got it for around $22 for a set of eight. Um, yeah, there are total eight variants from this set. They're Avatar, um, I think, The Way of Water, Avatar 2, um, Kinder Joy, Surprise Eggs set. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I am very excited on the new Avatar movie, and I'm a huge fan of James Cameron's Avatar film series. So I decided to collect them, and I'm very lucky. Um, I have around two duplicates. I bought 10 um, surprise eggs in total. I was able to complete my all eight s figures plus two like duplicates. But still, I think the ratio is really good. You guys can get the full set online. I think Amazon also carries them um, and also Target, I believe. But I got it, like I said, I got it from my local 7-Eleven. I just randomly picked 10 of these eggs and I got lucky with it cool let's take a look at the eggs these are like standard eggs um here we have kinder joy make sure it says avatar because they have a lot of different uh, series make sure you get an avatar one um yeah oh i just realized it the background are different too um yeah that's interesting do they have like a different look or something okay this has the same one okay yeah see that they have different look on the, um, you know, on the background picture here. That's pretty, in that's interesting. I just realized that now. Cool. All right. So these are the Easter eggs, not Easter eggs, surprise eggs. Cool. And then there are eight figures in this set. Um, let's take a look at them one by one. That's the first one. Here we have, um, this is the green banshee, a mountain banshee or Ikran. I believe this is um, Niteri's Ikran. And when you open it up, all you gotta do is just assemble them together. It's quite easy, just follow the instructions. And here's also the download and play code in case you guys wanna, you know, play it on the app. And also, it seems like this, this Ikran also glows in the dark. That's cool. And also you can scan it with your phone. Um, I guess you can also play it. And here is the complete set. Once again, like I said, there's a set of eight of these. Cool. Um, and this is this one. The Green Mountain Benchy Ikran. Very cool. Uh, the wings are made out of like a cloth material. Um, and then the rest is plastic, of course. It's a tiny, tiny um, Easter egg or surprise egg figure. It's very, very tiny. But I think it's pretty cool. You know, at least they get all the sculpts. Here we have Ikran's mouth. Um, we have these shapes. All these patterns are glow in the dark. So that's pretty cool, you know? Yeah, surprised. Um, I never knew they're gonna do one for um, Avatar. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. Cool, this is the first one. And then second one, of course, um, he has to be a pair. Here we have the Blue Mountain Banshee, the Blue Ikran. This is Jake Sudi's Ikran, same thing. The pattern on the body um, has the glow in a dark feature. Um, and in case you guys wanna check out the download play code, here we go. All right, and then also, once again, you can scan the figure if you wanna do it. Same thing on the back. And here we have the blue one. The blue one. I don't know. I feel like I like the blue one a little bit better. Um, I feel like, I don't know. They are basically identical. Very similar. But of course, uh, one is, the head is towards left. The other one is towards right. And also the blue Ikran seems slightly, I don't know. It's, it seems a little bit bigger than a green one. Maybe I'm just uh, imagining things. But um, yeah, it, it just looks a little bit bigger. Yep, and here we had the blue Ikran. Um, very nice. I like this one just slightly a little more. Um, the glue, the blue does grow on me. And once again, these patterns are glow in the dark. 
cool. Assembly is very easy. I mean, out of these, uh, I think Ikram may be the hardest to assemble for kids, but uh, just follow the instruction. Um, you know, it's very easy. And if you're adults, you should have no problem completing it. <laughs> okay, next. Um, let's do the human figures, not a human, the avatar figures. Here we have Jake Suli. Uh, once again, follow the simple steps. And Suli's uh, patterns also glow in the dark. And here is the download code in case you guys want it. Cool. And here we have Jake Suli. Once again, these patterns are all have the glow in the dark feature. Pretty cool. Yeah, I, I do collect uh, uh, Kinder Eggs. Um, not all the series, but some of the ones that I really like, like the Animal series. Um, they're tiny, easy to store, you know, um, and they're pretty cute. Yep, here we have Jake Suli. Very nice. Cool. Next, of course, we cannot live without Nitori. Here we have Nitori. Here's a download code for Nitori. All right, Nitori again, same feature, glow in the dark. And then, where's Nitori? Nitori is right here. Look at how nice. Um, such a small figure, but all the details are there. And especially I'm fascinated with the glow in the dark feature on this tiny little figure. And um, yeah, I mean, you can tell this is Nitori. Isn't that amazing? All right, next, um, we have another beast from the first Avatar movie, a dire horse, the horse with the four legs. Yep, pretty cool. And here is the code. Cool. And then, oh, okay, the body glows in the dark. Where's the dire horse? Here we go. The dire horse is the most Good looking one, I think, in my opinion, out of here. Um, yeah, it looks exactly like a die horse. They did a great job on the scope and all that, I think. Um, isn't it amazing? And this is the part where it glows in the dark. That's cool. Very, very cool. Amazing. Yep, so this is die horse, everyone. And then the last creature from the first movie is the Toro Martu. Um, I think it's called Toro. Um, I forgot the name. I think it's called Toro or Toro Martu, something like that. Um, it's one of that those that giant beast, the king of the sky or something. Yep. And then okay, the back has a glow in a dark feature, and then here is the download code. All right, Toro Makdu. Here we go. Very nice. Again, the wings are made out of cloth material. Very vibrant color here. And I guess this is the glow in the dark feature. Yeah, I mean, it looks just like Toro Makdu. I mean, I have a Toro Makdu figure from the Mattel era. Um, yeah, I mean, my farm toy did not they don't make one yet i hope they would make one but it's going to be huge because um the, the banshee the e-clan that they created on the on the regular size you know the large size scale it's already like huge like it's it's you know the wingspan is wider than my shoulders um and i can't imagine if they ever create one for uh total um how it's gonna look it's gonna be giant at least, maybe double the size. But still, I would love to see one being made. But um, yeah, this is just a very nice, tiny version. Great for, you know, displaying on your desk or, you know, somewhere uh, with very limited room. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah, okay. It's also the centerpiece. I do not know which one is the rarer one or the the, the hardest one to pull. I do not know the pull rate, if they're identical or if there is a particular pattern to it. You know, like certain ones are more common, you know, and some are more rare, I don't know. Um, so, but yeah, according to my friends, 
I think this one, the whale is the least common one. Um, a lot of my friends weren't able to pull the whale. They were able to find everyone else, but not the whale. But I don't know. You guys can let me know. Now we have two new additional creatures from the second film, The Way of Water. The first one being, um, I think it's called Iru. Here we have the download code here. And then this is the Iru. Okay, the back glows in the dark. It looks like um, some sort of dinosaur. That water dinosaur, I forgot the name right now. Uh, Pterosaurus, something like that. I don't remember. But yeah, it looks like that, that dinosaur from the water, um, from the ocean. And also, almost all of them has no articulations besides these uh, sea creatures. Um, so this one has the waist articulation, left and right. Um, yeah, isn't that interesting? All of the rest, they don't have it. Only the two uh, sea creatures, they do. And these are the patterns with the uh, glow-in-the-dark feature. And here is the rest. Interesting, right? Yep, this is called Iru, I believe. But yeah. To me, it just looked like that dinosaur. I Once again, I don't remember the name. Something Saurus. Anyways, and the last, the final one, um, we have the whale. I don't know what it's, uh, what's its scientific name or official name, but it looks like a, a blue whale. It looks like some sort of whale. Okay, the pattern. Here we have. And then here we have download code. And then, yep, this completes the entire thing. Yeah, this one has two articulations, you know, one towards the head, one towards the tail, and then it can move like this. And these patterns on it are the parts with uh, glow-in-the-dark features. They're on both sides as well. Pretty cool. Yep. This is like some sort of whale, um, and then I think the Navis use it to fight back the humans. Um yeah excited to find out who these features uh who these creatures are and what do they do um yeah cool right once again only uh this and this these two sea creatures has articulations the rest does not have any articulations interestingly cool here we have all eight of the uh, avatar mini figures toys from the avatar kinder joy surprise egg um, yeah, um, if you guys are interested, check it out, you know, um, before they run out. Sometimes once they run out, they don't come back. And I mean, a lot of times when you find it in stores, you will see those um, uh, maybe animal series or something like that. With these like movie series, they actually go run out really fast and they actually don't reproduce them once the, um, you know, the film is over. So yeah, grab yours before it's too late. Anyways, so here is my review of the Kinder Joy Surprise Egg Avatar series. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.